Hello students we have already seen the attempts of Dobreiner and Newland to classify elements according to their atomic mass we also saw why they failed even after the rejection of Newland's laws of octaves many scientists continued to search for a pattern that correlated the properties of elements with their atomic masses in 1869 The Siberian born Dmitri Ivanovich Mendeleev tried to arrange the elements differently than everyone. And this idea proved to be very important in the history of the classification of elements. Mendeleev was trying to classify the elements based on their atomic mass and chemical properties. He thought there was some sort of relationship between their atomic masses a kind of physical property and their reactive a kind of chemical property When Mendeleev began the classification of elements only 63 elements were discovered at that time The atomic structure of the element was not even discovered yet Mendeleev realized that the properties of elements could be best compared by comparing their reactions. He thought for this he should take any two elements that can react and form compounds with almost all elements. So he chose oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen and hydrogen are very reactive and have ability to combine with most of the elements. Also oxygen is easily available in the air. When hydrogen reacts with elements, they form respective hydrides. While on the reaction of elements with oxygen, oxides are formed. To simplify what Mendeleev did, he made 63 cards for 63 known elements. He wrote all that he knew about each element on these cards. and hung them on the board on these cards he wrote the physical properties like atomic mass color etc and chemical properties of elements like their reactivity that is whether they are reactive or highly reactive and also the hydrides and oxides of these compounds he then started arranging them in increasing order of their atomic masses but he was not able to make any sense out of it still continued to arrange these cards and rearrange these cards in various sequences he even got frustrated and disappointed at one point of time and thought that the table or the way of arranging is not perfect as per one story one day when he fell asleep while arranging the cards he realized that all the elements fell into a perfect order only with certain gaps in between this order he realized this fact and noted that he was missing some cards and was very sure about it that these missing places are nothing but elements yet to be discovered mendeleev noted that if the elements were arranged in ascending order of their atomic masses the chemical and the physical properties of the elements would repeat after the interval of certain elements he called his discovery the periodic table of elements and why was it called periodic because we find the properties of each element repeat down the table just like we have a repetition of days in a calendar yes same way here also Just like in calendar the week starts on Monday and goes on for 6 other days and another week starts with another Monday which just comes below the first one beautiful so if i say one week represents one period every monday would repeat itself after this fixed period isn't it yes placed one below the other so there is a periodic pattern of repetition and so the calendar is periodic and just like this mendeleev's table followed a periodic pattern in his table 
properties of elements repeated after the fixed period for example look at this oxide of hydrogen its formula is h2o below it is element lithium whose oxide is also like that of the hydrogen that is li2o he then placed beryllium next to lithium because the oxide of beryllium is different from that of the lithium it is beo and the hydride of it is bh2 since the hydrides and oxides of lithium are not same or similar like that of beryllium he placed be next to li and not below it now accordingly mendeleev arranged the elements in ascending order based on their atomic mass and their oxides and hydrides up till the sodium element when he reached here he found that the oxide of sodium and its hydride had the same properties as those of element lithium so he broke the line and placed sodium below lithium mendeley began arranging elements with similar properties underneath each other thus he arranged sodium under the lithium rather than next to fluorine he then took the element magnesium whose oxides are mgo and hydride is mgh2 can you tell me where should it be placed yes you are right as it has the same formula and properties as that of the oxides and hydrides of beryllium it should be placed below it in this manner mendeleev arranged all 63 elements in the table forming rows and columns so now if you see this one row we can compare this with the week in the calendar here also elements are arranged in the increasing order of their masses and they repeat in their property after a certain period so he called these rows as periods just like we have monday similar days in the week nicely placed one below the other in the column vertically in mendeleev's table also elements with similar properties like sodium potassium or beryllium and magnesium are placed one below the other in a column and he called these columns as groups thus all the elements in the first column have similar oxides and hydrides with their general formula written on the top of the column for example as r2o and rh where r is the representation of the symbol of the element similarly for the second vertical column mendeleev wrote general formula as ro and rh2 thus we can say that mendeleev formed a periodic table of elements having eight vertical columns called groups and six horizontal rows called periods from his observation of the table he gave a law that is called mendeleev's periodic law according to this law the properties of an element are periodic of its atomic mass let us interpret this rule mendeleev's periodic law states that physical and chemical properties of the elements are repeated after a certain interval or a fixed interval of time as the elements are arranged in increasing order or ascending order of their atomic mass so now you must be thinking that this genius man made attempts which must be error free right but let me tell you you are wrong even his work had certain limitations and we will see these limitations and also achievements of this table in our next video